on today's episode of Dapa Daniel. We're going north to south. This is smack dab in the middle of everything. Highland Ridge, that one's gonna have an active 1996 four bed, three bath, 2,935 square feet. On the outside of these neighborhoods here is we're gonna have the bigger grocery store. So you got Tom Thumb. Now at this intersection that we're coming up to, this is Medical City Plano. That's located over here off Coit Road and 15th Street. There are some of these older homes that I do like the look of. And I, I think to myself, oh man, well this this elevation and this uh, this kind of look to the house was ahead of its time. Uh, so that makes sense. I'll tell you what guys, I've seen some pipe in my day and that is, uh, that's some pretty legit pipe right there over here off of uh, 121 and Coit Road. All right, this is just continuing once again on uh, Plano driving tour, driving every street of Plano, Texas. Guys, really, uh, when I started this series of uh, driving every street over here in Plano, I mean, I've done this for Frisco, I've done this for Prosper. I really didn't think this would, I think I started this series back in like October-ish or something like that. And uh, we're now sitting in March 1st and I'm still getting after it. So this is the next one here, slowly but surely. I know I've said that before, slowly but surely I will get through all of these, uh, roads over here in Plano, Texas. So we're really, this Coit Road, we're going north to south. This is smack dab in the middle of everything. So first neighborhoods we're gonna go into is Ridgeview Park, which is over here on the left. And uh, actually I won't go into that one. I'll go into Hickory Ridge because there's some apartment complexes that are on the outside of it. Ridgeview Park is kind of the first neighborhood you hit over on that left side. No actives right now and their HOA is $145 quarterly. And then you got Hickory Ridge that's over here on the right side. No actives in there right now. HOA $250 semi-annually. Now these homes up here on the north side of Coit Road, some of them are a little bit more new with like early 2000, early 2005. But then once we get a little bit further uh, down into Coit and down into like the heart of Plano is when, you know, more things are gonna be in like the 1970s, 1980s. So even though these homes aren't like brand spanking new, uh, they're gonna be a little bit more new than some of the other stuff. And this is more of the traditional look, right? Most of these homes look like two story, sitting on a bigger lot, actually feels like a home. Once we get a little bit further, that's gonna be a lot smaller kind of one story homes with everything. Kind of just like the typical look of some of those older Plano homes. And uh, if you guys have been on the channel before and looking at my videos, well, uh, you're probably kind of familiar with it. And there is a power line that runs through here. And this is the power line that kind of runs through all of Plano. And so we'll kind of notice that while we go and hit on some neighborhoods throughout here. Now there is some like walking trails and walking paths along that as well. So a lot of these neighborhoods on the right side are going to have, uh, you know, some type of walking trail along it. And then uh, I think these houses are under contract right now because I just saw two for sale signs, but when I went on the MLS to see actives, there was nothing active over here at Hickory Ridge. So I'll pop up a house right now if there is one active by the time I edit this video. But when I just pulled this information, there was nothing on there. So uh, they might be under pending, which I don't usually pull that. I usually pull like what's actually active over here. And then across the street, and I guess kind of on the other side of and then kind of close to Ridgeview Park is just gonna be some apartment complexes and then you got some gas stations. But these homes right here, really close to 121. And honestly, you could take McDermott left and you'd be over into 75 Highway 2. It's just a little bit further, but most people up in this area, you're probably gonna take 121. Now you could get on 121 and then go to 75 Highway or you could take it, go over to the Dallas North Tollway. Like I said, Coit Road is kind of in the middle. Uh, we'll go down Independence, we'll, we'll do Custer. We'll do those roads a little bit later on. Those are gonna be like the next ones in this series of me driving down. But uh, also in this intersection here is just gonna be some basic dental offices, pharmacies. And then there's, a, there's an allergy and asthma center for adults and children over here too. Uh, what else? Uh, maybe a dry cleaning. Yeah, just kind of just some random commercial stuff within there. 
And then once we get a little bit past that, we start getting into the next neighborhood. So this is Northridge Estates within here. Now Northridge Estates, it's gonna have an HOA of $300 semi-annually. They do have an active in here in $19.99 four bed, three and a half bath, 3,234 square feet, listed at $759,000 at 235 per square foot. And these homes maybe have a little bit of that older feel to them just because the majority of them are gonna be all brick. Some of them may have some type of stone with them, but um, gonna be, gonna have a little bit older of a feel than those homes that we just uh, went through right there back in Hickory Ridge but I mean Hickory Ridge had homes in there that are, were a little bit younger than these within here okay Let's see if we can get out this way Now these are gonna be decent sized homes. Oh God, that was just a bump out of nowhere. These are gonna be some pretty decent sized homes in here. You're gonna have like 3,000 square feet and over. Most of them are gonna be two story within this neighborhood. Not gonna be a lot of one story over on this side. The next neighborhood that's gonna kind of look like that is Highland Ridge. That one's gonna have an active 1996 four bed, three bath, 2,935 square feet, listed at $632,000 at 215 per square foot with an HOA of $360 semi-annually. And that's gonna be over here to the left. There's also Highland Meadows that's over to the right. There's no HOA within there. And then at this intersection of Hedgecocks, there's gonna be a couple fast food restaurants, couple banks, some grocery stores, or a little commercial hole in the wall, shops, medical clinics, CrossFit. Oh, what else we got? Rusty Taco. I used to eat at Rusty Taco. I don't, haven't been back. In a, in a long time. They used to have a rusty taco on 423, but that, everything dies over at 423 in the colony uh, when it comes to like fast food restaurants over there. But anyways, yeah, rusty tacos over here and uh, just some other sm small little things. And then once we get past Hedgecocks over on the right side is gonna be Fountain Creek. There's gonna be an HOA of nothing in there. There is an active in there in 1992, three bed, two and a half bath, 2,551 square feet. Listed at $399,000 at 156 per square foot. On the opposite side of that, there's the Estates of Forest Creek. There's no HOA in there, and then there's also no actives right now. So we'll hop into Fountain Creek. So everything just is looking the exact same. There was a house down there with a the red painted garage. I don't know how the HOA approved that one. Oh wait, there is no HOA in here. Or is there? What did I say? No, there's no HOA. All right, that, that answers my question. Okay, a little bit more one-story homes in here. And then once again, that walking trail is just kind of, you know, gonna be along all these neighborhoods that we kind of drive through today. I'm probably gonna stick more towards driving through the neighborhoods on the right side as we head south down so that way i'm not really having to cross over into any uh intersection not that this video is going to be that quick because coit road is pretty long it's one of the longer roads within plano and i think that's what was getting me to uh i, I didn't record this video last week just because i coit it in me this is this is pretty intimidating it just seemed daunting to uh drive down coit road but you know it's march 1st the weather is getting a little bit nicer we're not having as many cold days. It did start at 35 degrees and then we're supposed to have a high of like 75. So that's Texas weather for you. Fairfax Meadows is also the other neighborhood right along here. There's no actives in there. And then there was no HOA when I pulled out. So some of these homes, some of these neighborhoods along here are just gonna have no HOA cause they're just so old that that's how they were. And then if they do have an HOA, it's gonna be like $300 per year or maybe $200 semi-annually.
Fairfax Meadows is over here on the right side and then Winford Ridge is on the left side. That neighborhood, same thing, no actives, but both of them are gonna look the same. Now, on the outside of these neighborhoods here is we're gonna have the bigger grocery stores. So you got Tom Thumb, Sports Clips, Modern Dentistry, some more dentist offices. There's an ER, a Taco Bell, a Chevron. Uh, you got a Wells Fargo bank. So a little bit more stuff in here. Now, the look of everything is just gonna still feel a little bit older. Now, it's not gonna look the oldest compared to some of the other parts of Plano, but uh, you can feel in this area it might have a little bit of an older feel especially when you go over legacy here and just turn right and head towards legacy west not too far away is all those developments around there so even living in the older homes around here you're still pretty close to some of the nice amenities that plano has to offer but there are a few more businesses a few more shops some other like mechanic car there's also some mechanic shops along here too and then we get into the next bit of neighborhoods which is going to be wembley court over on the left side, HOA of nothing, no actives within there. And then Deer Creek at Preston Meadow is over on this right side. They're gonna have an HOA of $60 monthly in there and there's no actives. And then Heatherwood over on the left side, no HOA, no actives within there. And then there is the Plano Recreation Center over along here. So it's like a park. You also have like workout, baseball field, soccer field. So a whole bunch of stuff over in this park area here. And then we're almost to the part where we're in the center where you're kind of halfway to George Bush Tollway and then you're also halfway to like 121. Uh, more fast food restaurants along here, KFC, Starbucks, and then you got some more commercial things behind these fast food restaurants with just some smaller shops. So here's Spring Creek Parkway. Now, Spring Creek Parkway is a pretty big road, so you actually kind of go over it twice. You go over the road that goes out towards the west, and then you hit another light, and then this is the road that goes out towards the east. And then the Walmart's located over on this left side. So Tom Thumb, Walmart, you got a veterinary medical center, uh, DFW Wound Care, a Primrose School on Preston Meadow, so a little bit nicer of a uh, school. Okay, this is Wiffle Tree now. This is the next neighborhood that we're gonna hop into. I think I've talked about this neighborhood before on maybe my legacy driving tour, but Wiffle Tree in here, no actives right now. These are what the homes look like. So on the outside of the neighborhood is just a little, I, I don't even know if I call that a park, but maybe a field with some benches. And then here's what these homes look like on this one. So th some of these homes are kind of perched up on a little bit of a slope uh, with some uh, stairs walking up to the actual front door of the house. But a lot of the homes in here are just gonna be fully brick and gonna be kind of the same color brown plain brick that you see with the tan front door or uh, with the tan garage door but pretty simple within here, but there is a mix of one story and two story. Uh, these homes here got a pretty legit power line right above them, so that's a bit annoying. Now, probably when they bought these houses back in the day, those power lines weren't there, and this is just something to kind of think about in the future, and you know, I mentioned these things. I don't think power lines are absolutely the worst thing, but just kind of keep in mind, if you're buying new construction, you know, I talked about this up in the cities of Salina, Van Alstine, and Melissa and all those stuff where they're putting infrastructure and later on just kind of follow how they put in this these utilities uh, on the back side of homes because just because it's a small wooden pole right now doesn't mean it won't turn into something bigger later on in the future once the city keeps growing all right so that was just a bit of willful tree there there's the parkway estates that's across the street there's going to be an active in there in 1998 five bed four and a half bath 3,520 square feet listed at $750,000 at 213 per square foot. And the homes over in there are gonna be maybe a little bit bigger than what we just went through at Wiffle Tree. Wiffle Tree is gonna have a little bit smaller homes within it. But the curb appeal in the Parkway Estates might be a little bit better, maybe. Parkway Estates just kind of keeps going down here. Wiffle Tree is also a pretty big neighborhood, so it kind of extends as well, about all the way to Parker Road. And then up along Parker Road, 
is where the next kind of intersection of things are going to be but there's not going to be as many things as spring creek parkway when it comes to the commercial stuff or the shopping or grocery up on here but there's going to be a few things up along this one and then also guys go to my plano playlist if you guys want to see some of these other roads that i'm talking about and see what that looks like and what other neighborhoods are along there but up along this one once again you got another sonic so if you like Sonic living off Coit Road, that's gonna be nice for you because you you're gonna get plenty of options. Uh, you also got a Brakes Plus, another Chevron, big old church on this red, right side, Shell gas station, and then this is Parker here. And then we're really down to the last bit of neighborhoods along Coit Road. So majority of Coit Road in these neighborhoods are kind of located more on the north side rather than the south side. Once we start getting like almost to George Bush, which we're about there, there's really no other neighborhoods that are located right along this street. So we'll hop into kind of these last couple neighborhoods or maybe this last one, Wentworth or Riverbend. Riverbend's gonna be over on the left side, but not too much along this intersection here. Going right down Parker to get to the Dallas North Tollway, because at this point, if you're living in this area, you're probably not going north up into 121 unless you're having to work uh, further up into Prosper or maybe Melissa or something like that. But going right here, would actually take you down to the Dallas North Tollway and that would probably be about a 10 minute drive maybe 15 if you're like driving in the morning and there's traffic because right now everywhere and almost everywhere in Plano the roads are getting redone so yes the roads do kind of stink and I had people comment like oh Daniel you didn't mention how crappy the roads are in Plano it's like yes I've, I've mentioned how they're going in and how they're having to fix things all right so just know like yes plano's older the streets are older they're a little bit more banged up they're having to go back in and fix some things so that's just kind of the deal all right river bend is over on the left side there's no hoa in there an active 1979 three bed two and a half bath 2226 square feet listed at four hundred and ninety five thousand dollars at 222 per square foot and then wentworth estates is over here on this right side Hopefully there's another street that I can pull into and there's not gonna, oh, maybe, maybe I might've got lucky here. I almost missed it. All right. So here's Wentworth Estates. Now this is going to be the last neighborhood that we drive through. And once again, I might sound like a broken record here, but still going to be all brick. Maybe some stone accents, but you know, that older traditional look of the home. Now, if you had to ask me like, what's your favorite neighborhood out of all of these that we drove through? I think it's the first one, Hickory Ridge. I just like the curb appeal of those homes a little bit better, but there are some of these older homes that I do like the look of. And I, I think to myself, oh man, well this, this elevation and this, uh, this kind of look to the house was ahead of its time but a majority of these are just gonna be all brick, like I was saying, pretty pretty simple. And then you might have some of these homes in here that are just fully painted white. Uh, like here's a fully painted white one. And then what do you know? Here's also a fully painted white one over on the left side. So that's what I'm saying. When in doubt, paint it white. Oh, and then a cool little Hummer out front of this house in H1. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let me, uh, all right, we'll hop back around and then we'll get to Coit Road again and then take it a little bit further. So, you know, the neighborhoods from this point, getting down to George Bush Tollway, you know, if you're having to commute out to the Carrollton DFW Airport or maybe go out to Saxe, uh, probably from this point is about a little under 10 minutes. But once again, it really depends on how you hit all these lights because there are quite a few lights and Coy Road, I would say, is not, you know, a super major road, but, but at times it is going to be kind of like high traffic. And you know, that's usually just around like 8 a.m. in the morning and then also maybe like starting at 4.30 p.m. Not really like Preston, not as heavy traffic as Preston. I think at times Preston can be pretty frustrating to drive down. Now it's nice to live off Preston because that's where a lot of the more commercial businesses, other things you kind of want to be around or at least, you know, 
be on something a little bit quicker to drive to. But it's also frustrating at some times because there's just so many more people that are using it to kind of get around the town. Uh, but Coit Road's a little bit quieter at times. Uh, over on this intersection, a lot of Asian cuisine. You also got a DQ, another CVS pharmacy, Chase Bank. There's also the uh, theater that's over here too. So I believe there's an AMC theater, or is this a cinema? We'll figure it out here in a second. Uh, it is a, they got luxury loungers. That's the Cinemark. I actually, me and Victoria went to this Cinemark one time and I will say I really did like the loungers they had in there because it actually like laid all the way back. Have you guys been to some of these movie theaters and noticed like you'll go to the same brand of a movie theater but then the, the seat is a little bit different than the other movie theater and they all don't have like the same seating. I will say, the best seating that I've come across is the Galaxy Theaters over at Grandscape. I mean, those those things go like all the way down like a bed, and they're really fluffy. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm starting to turn into like a movie theater seat connoisseur. Now at this intersection that we're coming up to, this is Medical City Plano that's located over here off Coit Road and 15th Street. And then as we take this down to George Bush, there's really going to be no other neighborhoods that we're gonna drive into. So the rest of the stuff that you're gonna see is just gonna be some like auto dealerships. You're gonna have some random fast food restaurants and then also some, you know, regular restaurants and then, you know, basic commercial shopping. But over here at 15th Street and Coit Road is where the major medical city Plano is gonna be. So there was about 17 neighborhoods that I hit on today, probably in total down Coit Road probably about 25 neighborhoods that I didn't hit on. Some of them were really small. Uh, some of them just kind of looked like the other ones. And then the price ranges were all kind of different, but I mean, they really range from that 400 to million dollar mark. I would say majority of them down Coit Road that we kind of went into are gonna be around that 750 range. If it's like over 3,000 square feet. Now, if it's like a 1970, that's gonna be a little bit different. But if it's something closer to like a 2000, then that's gonna, kind of be that price range that I was seeing online. John Paul, the second high school, is located over here. There's a Chevy dealership, a Hyundai dealership, uh, so some car stuff over on this side as well. And then we get to the final, not, uh, actually, is this the final? Yeah, this is like the final main road that we're gonna go over, and this is Plano Parkway. So I have done a driving tour over the Plano Parkway, so go into my Plano series or playlist on my channel and you can check out what Plano Parkway looks like too because this road actually takes you all the way out to Wiley as well. It just takes a while. And Plano Parkway runs parallel with George Bush Turnpike and then going right here to the Dallas North Tollway. I don't even think people would really go right to the Dallas North Tollway. I think from this point you're probably just hopping on George Bush and then getting onto the Dallas North Tollway uh, from this point. And then some, not as many apartment complexes down this road as like something like Preston Road. A lot more apartment complexes down Preston Road, but there are a few that are kind of sprinkled here and there. There are some more new ones, at least over on this side, but this is also because we're close to UTD. So I think some of these apartment complexes, there's gonna be some like student living around here as well. There's, a, there's another Walmart. So there's two Walmarts located along Coit Road and then a Rose's Cafe, there's also a Central Market over here, another kind of higher end grocery store. And then you can start to see a little bit of George Bush, and then we'll be into Dallas. So I mean, we really hop onto the North Dallas area. It's not like, you know, the heart of Dallas that we're in. We still have, you know, from this point, if we took Coit Road down, I mean, it would take probably another 25 minutes to actually get down to the heart of Dallas, um, but we are, into the city line of Dallas once you get over George Bush. Over to the right is also a Sam's Club. So plenty of grocery stores, things like that around this intersection. And then this would be the entrance ramp onto George Bush Tollway. There's no actual service road on the side of it. It's just once you turn right here, you're, you're onto the tollway. You don't, you don't really have any other options. And that's gonna be it for Coit Road and driving down, showing you guys kind of what that looks like, talking about some of the neighborhoods. So if you're looking at Plano, if you're on a home search right now, please send me a text or give me a call. We'd love to go over some details with you guys and answer any questions you have about the Plano housing market. Thank you guys so much for watching. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always.
Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.